Uh, earlier today, as many of you know, after a full, open, and spirited public discussion that began last May, our Board of Health passed our administration's proposal to limit the portion size of sugary drinks. Uh, this has nothing to do with banning your ability to buy as much as many sugary drinks as you want, simply the size of the cup that can be used. It cannot be greater than 16 ounces under this regulation. This is the single biggest step any city, I think, has ever taken to curb obesity. Uh, but certainly not the last step that lots of cities are going to take. And we believe that it will help save lives. Beginning March 12th, sugary beverages will no longer be sold by food establishments in portions greater than 16 ounces. Fruit or vegetable juice with no added sugar or beverages that contain more than 50 percent milk are not impacted by this rule. Uh, the new regulation applies to sugary drinks sold at restaurants, food carts, delis, movie theater concessions, stadiums, and arenas. And the six-month window will give businesses time to adjust their menu boards, container size, and make any other necessary changes to ensure that they are in compliance so that it will not impact uh, their ability to continue with their businesses. They have plenty of time to make the adjustments. As the data shows, and as a growing number of supporters have been saying for months, sugary drink consumption is a key driver of the obesity epidemic in our city and across the United States, and reducing the amount of sugary drinks that we consume is the simplest diet change that we can make to help lose weight or to maintain a healthy weight. If New Yorkers reduce portion size to 16 ounces from 20 ounces for just one sugary drink every two weeks, that alone will collectively save something about 2.3 million pounds over a year in New York City. 